welcome back to another tutorial for today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this checkered crochet bag so it's a pretty simple pattern we're just going to be alternating between two colors using single crochet for this project I'm going to be using two different colors of 100% cotton yarn this is a weight for medium yarn both of these are lily sugar and cream and it is a 100% cotton, which is what I really like to use when I make bags. I'm going to be pairing that with a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. We're also gonna be needing some scissors and a darning needle as per usual. I also have this little spool tool that I'm going to be using to make the strap. This is called a French knitter and you can use one of these if you want. This one has six different pegs on top. I'm using this tool because I want to make an I-cord strap. You can just as easily crochet a single crochet strap or knit an I-cord. So to get started on this, I'm going to start my foundation chain first. I'm going to start with a slip knot. To work this checkered pattern, you can work any multiple of five plus one. For the size of bag I went with, I did 45 chains plus one, so we're going to work 46 chains. Now that I have my 46 chains, I'm going to single crochet into the second chain here from the hook. So skip this first chain, come into the second chain with a single crochet. And that is our first single crochet because we have a chain one single crochet. And then I'm going to single crochet into the next three stitches. So right now we have four single crochet here. What we're going to do is every fifth single crochet that we get to, we are going to switch colors. So we're going to start our fifth single crochet in white. And I'm going to take my pink thread here and just lay it over the front of my hook. Hold it tight and pull it through. So now, hopefully you can see, we have our five white single crochets and I've just finished that stitch with my pink one. So now I'm going to make sure I grab the end tail of this. I'm just going to pull out of the way. Now we're going to be working our five pink single crochets. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold this tail of the white along the chain here and work with the pink yarn now. And we're just going to work right over top of that white yarn here. So I'm going to work five single crochets next in my pink. So two three, four. So I have my four pink single crochets. I'm going to start my fifth single crochet with my pink yarn and I'm going to finish it with my white. So I'm going to grab my white now. I'm going to grab the yarn over, pull through. And I'm just going to tug this white yarn a little so that if it was dragging through the back, we can pull it tight and it's not going to be hanging loose. So now we're going to be working our five white single crochets again over this pink thread into the chain with five single crochets of our next color. Two, three, four, and starting our fifth. And what I actually like to do before we finish this, sorry, is I'm going to pull this pink yarn. You can see the pink yarn is kind of bunched up here a little. If I pull that thread, then it gets rid of any bunching through the front and back, so we're not gonna see that yarn coming through quite as much. Pull it a little bit, take my pink yarn, finish the stitch. Now everything is nice and secure. Work five single crochets again over the white. I'll just show you guys that again. Three, or start my fifth, pull the white yarn before we finish the stitch. You can see it comes a little bit straighter. Don't yank it so hard that the fabric gets bunched up, but pull it so that it's not coming through in loops. Finish that stitch. And we're alternating colors now. We're gonna do this all the way until we get to the end and then we can start our next row. So I've reached the end of my row here. I'm on my last single crochet stitch. We're going to finish the row just as we have, except we don't need to change to the pink for the next row. So I'm going to finish my single crochet in white. 
and we're not switching to pink just yet because these checkered patterns are going to be worked five stitches across and five stitches tall. So I'm going to turn my work, taking both threads, chain one with the white, go into the stitch, making sure that I come underneath the pink thread. So the pink thread needs to be along this right here. So I'm going through the stitch as we normally would, but I also need to be working over top of this pink thread as well. So I'm going to single crochet five times like we did before on the last row, two, three, four, start my fifth, making sure I'm still going under that pink thread, pull my pink thread tight so nothing is showing through, finish this stitch with my pink thread and then go right into working my set of five pink single crochets. So making sure we go underneath that V and underneath the white thread. Go one, two, three, four, oops. Start the fifth, pull the white thread a little, finish with the white thread, and then pull the pink down again. Make sure our stitches are staying nice and tight. So we're just going to continue working this, making sure we are catching underneath the thread of the opposite color, pulling our thread at the end of every color change so we have no loops. Give it a gentle, gentle tug. Finish that like so. And I'm gonna do this till I get to the end of the row. Repeat this exact same process until I have five rows of single crochet and then we will switch colors to do our next checker pattern. So this is what my first five rows look like completed. We can see the square pattern is really starting to take shape. So I have mapped my last stitch here and because we're done five rows of white, we need to switch to five rows of pink on top of this. So all that I'm gonna do is start my fifth single crochet, finish it with the pink, turn my work, chain one in pink, work over top of my white with five single crochets in pink. Or pull our yarn so it's not sagging through. Start our fifth pink single crochet. Go to our white yarn and now we're working five white single crochets on top of our five pink. One, three, four, and five. Pull our pink yarn, finish with a pink stitch. So we've just switched our colors. We're gonna continue doing this. We'll work five rows in this color and then we'll switch to the next color in the exact same way that we did. Now we're just going to continue this pattern until we get to the size that we want. I did 40 rows up and we have 45 stitches across and that gives us a good, pretty square um, shape. For the bag if you wanted to do 45 by 45 you can but it does end up being a little bit more rectangular in this case so i'm gonna go ahead and finish until i have two of the exact same purse pieces like this and then we will join everything together and finish up this bag now that i have my two identical squares here finished for the bag i'm going to join them together so if we have a look at this fabric here we can see that where we started we already have this round of white so I'm going to take advantage of that so that I don't have to do any adjusting or extra borders at the top here. So to join this, I'm just going to flip this like so, so I have a nice clean edge across the top of my bag. And I'm going to go ahead and do a single crochet border along the side here, the bottom, and come up the other side here. So to do this, I'm just going to turn the bag on its side like this. Start with a slip knot on my hook. 
and then I'm going to do a single crochet border here. So I'm going to find the beginning of the chain first actually. So I'm going to go through the top of the first chain here and the top of the foundation chain here. And I'm going to slip stitch to join this together. And I'm going to place one single crochet into this space. The first round is the only one that's different because we have that initial foundation chain and if we don't go into this first space of the foundation chain we'll get a little bit of a bump and we don't really want that. But aside from that we're just going to be placing one single crochet into the side of each single crochet from this round here. So we have one single crochet there, we're going to find the next space make sure they match on both sides and just single crochet those two pieces together. Do the same thing into the next stitch, single crochet those two sides together. And just continue making sure your stitches are lining up. So I've placed my single crochets here. I'm moving on to the pink now. Just placing one single crochet into the side of each stitch. And this is all that we're going to do until we get down to the end. So just one single crochet into each of these sides and then we'll do the corner. I'm down at the end here and it's time to do the corner to turn. Into that last stitch that we have available, I'm going to go with three single crochets so that we can turn and also start the next row. So three single crochets into that next space and then we're just going to work this way going into the next stitch of this row with one single crochet and then working single crochets all the way along this side. And when I finish the single crochets along this side and get to this corner we'll do three single crochets in this last stitch here and then just regular single crochets down here leaving the top open. All right, now I'm back. I have completed my first round of single crochet border. The next part is to make the little loops to attach the strap. For this purse, I decided to go with a knit eye cord that I made using a French knitter. This cord measures 57 inches long. I showed you guys this at the beginning of the video. If you wanna make this kind of strap using this knitting loom, I have a full separate tutorial posted on my channel that you can use to achieve this look if that's what you want. If you don't want to go with an eye cord and you want to stick with crochet, you can make a single crochet strap which will have a similar look. So now I've turned my work and I'm getting ready to work the second row of my border. So I'm not going to chain anything, I'm just going to go with a single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the second stitch. And then I am going to do a chain of two. And this is where the loop for the strap is going to be. So I'm just going to skip the next single crochet and continue with my single crochet into every space after that. So it creates a very small unnoticeable loop, but of course if you pull it, it is there. And we don't want that loop to be too big because of course we don't want our strap to slip out. But I'm going to make, but this little loop is going to hold the strap and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, stopping two stitches away from the top to place the other loop. So here is the border finished with the two rounds of single crochet. And here are those little loops that I have created as the space for the strap. So now that I've finished both rounds of my border, I can go ahead and just place my straps through. So I'm just going to take my crochet hook and slip it through one of those loops and carefully pull my strap through there. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure everything is straight and do the same thing on the other side. Just poke it through. This side was a little easier. Poke it through like so. Once we have them pulled through, all you need to do is tie knots. The reason I also decided to do the strap separate for this bag is because it makes the straps adjustable because you can just retie the knots.
And that finishes this bag. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun making it. If you do enjoy my videos, feel free to subscribe for more tutorials and I will catch you all in the next one.